Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. So here we have a sales register, invoice number, invoice date and unit sold on that date for that invoice. And I want to highlight any date which is having a total sales of more than 500 units. So to highlight, we might use conditional formatting. But before that, we need to know what is the total sales for a particular date. Some of you may be thinking that we can use VLOOKUP formula. No. Here we cannot use VLOOKUP because for each date there are multiple lines. So we need to add the sales for that particular date and then only VLOOKUP can work. So VLOOKUP will not work. We will use SUMIF in this case. So if you see the SUMIF function, SUMIF function requires a range, okay, date range, then the criteria. So criteria we can pick from any of these dates and then sum range will be column M which is unit sold. So first select the dates, then go to conditional formatting, new rule and our logic is based on a formula. What will be the function? Function is sum if, open the bracket, then it requires a range. Range we can pick up from invoice date column, comma, then what is the criteria? We will use the calendar date. So we can use the first date of this calendar. You need to use F4 key so that there is no dollar in that B4. Comma, what will be the sum range? So we can use units column for the summation. Close the bracket. And this will give you total units sold based on the criteria date. So we also need to see whether this is more than 500 or not. So greater than 500 we will type. And now whenever this condition is true, what should be the format? So we'll go to format section and here we will pick one of the color. Let's use this one and click on OK. Click OK again. And these are the dates where you have sold more than 500 units. Just to cross check, let us take our data and create a pivot table out of it. When we are inside the data, click on insert and then pivot table on the existing sheet and click OK. Now let us create the pivot table. So invoice date into rows and units into values. And you can see here 5th October is having 500 and more. And like that, these are few dates where it was more than 500 up to 12th. Let us look at the calendar from 5th up to 12th, it is showing all green. That means our formula is working fine. So this is the way where we can use some if function and conditional formatting to highlight the total sales based on the calendar dates. If you don't know how to create a calendar, then please check the link on the top right. I hope you found it useful. Please share your feedback in the comment section and let us know if you have any other easier way to do this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.